There are several countries, as you said, Director Shang, that has been in challenge. For example, Greece, they have economic challenges, or Iraq, in war. There are other countries with ancient civilization that are experiencing similar challenges. The thing is, what can we do now together? Like you said, ancient civilizations are facing challenges in the protection of historic and cultural relics. Some relics have been damaged, stolen, ravaged, or smuggled. People should respect the dignity of these relics. And countries, too, should show more respect to the history and culture of other countries. Relics contribute to the prosperity of human civilization. So we are calling for more people to be aware of relic protection through, for example, our forum today, and to stop wars, theft, and the ravage of historical relics. That way the relics can enjoy the dignity they deserve in modern society. Director Shan, but there's an ultimate question, that is, how much do we know, really, about our own civilization, our own culture? What do we know for us to establish this standard and a way to protect our own culture? That, I think, is the most difficult question. This is the responsibility of all museums and other cultural institutions, to reveal the cultural significance behind our collections. Let's take, for example, our jade curation, the pride of the Forbidden City Museum. There are 32,000 pieces of jade in our museum, all linking back to 5,000 years of Chinese civilization. We unearthed jade objects representing ancient Hongshan culture, which originated in northeast China five millennia ago. Also, many pieces from southeastern China's Langchu culture, which also date back to the same period. But how do we tell the different stories of Chinese culture? That poses a great challenge for us. We have to carefully think about how to exhibit these pieces in order to enlighten the public both about our history and about our future. Director Shan, a lot of people have been really wondering, what about the quality of contemporary Chinese culture? How does that compare to the ancient one that we used to have? How much can we really learn from the old examples to benefit us today? What is your thought? I don't agree with the idea that our ancestors were any better than us. We've witnessed great developments brought by modern technology. The problem is that the world is filled with too much information. These collections are able to tell us about the spirit of craftsmanship, like carpenters or stone sculptors, who have achieved capability by devoting one's entire life to it. We can inherit this spirit from ancient culture and make our own contribution to society. You mentioned the drainage system in the Forbidden City. It was designed and constructed during the Ming Dynasty, and no doubt it has lasted long and served us well. But without careful maintenance over the past 500 years, it would have been destroyed. It's thanks to generations of effort, especially since the establishment of the museum 90 years ago, that the drainage system was well maintained and protected. The system we see today is an integration of the wisdom of our ancestors and contributions of modern society.